it's Viviana and I really hope this trend isn't dead yet because me and the curly closet we're going to try following one of the sheet naturals hair tutorial so the first time I was on this bandwagon I was inspired by my YouTube search results to follow a Caucasian hair tutorial and I mean I think I did a pretty good job but I'd like to hear your opinion so if you haven't seen that video I'll be sure to leave it up in the i cards so maybe you're just new to YouTube to not know who the sheet natural is but she is the queen bee of the mohawk and she's also stylish and vegan so for today's video I have teamed up with the curly closet to try and follow one of the sheet naturals hair tutorial I've decided to do the braided mohawk and the curly closet will be doing one of the chic naturals curly mohawk. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so somehow my hair seems to naturally be wanting to fall on this side. So um, since this side is a little bit um, not so smooth, I'm just gonna take my ball bristle brush. Up. I'll be sure to have both videos linked down below. So after watching this video, you can go check those out. And also some more of my videos. I'm just saying, okay. Hey everybody, today I'm here with a tutorial on a braided do I did recently. So I'm starting with clean stretched hair. To prep for this style, I did my normal wash routine and then I very lightly blow dried my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting on freshly washed hair. I have my leave-in conditioner in it and my hair is damp. First thing I'm gonna do is section off some hair at the front. I'm making a side part going back and I'm stopping right at my crown. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm making a horizontal part to connect both of those parts I just made and I'm left with this. I think my section too small. Hold on. Yeah, I think my section is too narrow. Hers is more above her eyebrow, like the arch of her brow. So let's correct that. Gonna put that up and come back to this part later. Now for the back, I'm doing three sections to make three ponytails. For the first one, I'm starting right above my ear and I'm going to bring that part across. Just like that. And I want this style to be sleek and smooth, so I'm applying some gel around the edges. I'm going to brush it all up into place and make a high ponytail. So even though my hair isn't blow dried, I can still get the sleek look with a little extra gel and a paddle brush. With the remaining hair in the back, I'm gonna part that in half and do the exact same thing. Apply some gel, brush it up, and make a ponytail. All right, so the first part was above our ear, and it looked like the second part is at the middle of our ear. All right, now I'm gonna make the braid, and since I want mine to be really thick and long, I'm adding in this braiding hair. Right out of the pack, it has this rubber band on it, and that's what I'm gonna to use to attach it. So, at the top ponytail, I'm bringing my hair through the opening of the rubber okay. band. She attached hers using the elastic band that already comes on the braiding hair, but I don't recommend using elastic bands in your hair because it can cause nagging and breakage and no. So I'm going to remove the elastic band that comes on the hair and I'm going to attach one of my scrunchies. All right, so this is simple. You have the scrunchie, 
I'm going to just wrap it around here. Then I'm going to have two loops, right? Just take one and push it through the other. And you have a safer way of attaching the braiding hair to your own hair. This don't even match my hair color right now. My hair color need a touch up, people. Before I attach the braiding hair, let me ensure that my real hair is thoroughly moisturized. So now I have my hair and the braiding hair and I'm taking the braiding hair and placing it on top. I'm gonna divide that into three pieces and commence to making a braid. As I'm doing this, I'm bringing in the rest of the hair and I'm keeping it together as tight as possible so it all looks really uniform and neat. And you also wanna to try to make it really flush to your head as you're braiding down. Okay, so that was a fail. One, because my hair color is totally different from this braiding hair that I bought. And two, my hair is, my hair is fighting me. So, what I'm gonna do is ensure that my own hair is detangled properly. And I'm also going to add some mousse to my hair to help smooth it out and help it blend with the braiding hair a little bit off. Just ignore the color, okay? Ain't nothing I can do about that now. So I'm gonna braid that all the way to the end and secure it with a little band. Last thing to do is tackle the front. So you can leave it out like this if you want, but I'm gonna do a little pompadour type of action. So I'm brushing it all out to make sure it's well detangled. Then with my hair hanging down towards the front, I'm dividing that into three pieces and I'm gonna make a very loose plait. So I'm gonna take that and fold it backwards. I'm taking the end of the plait and tucking it under itself. And then I'm gonna pin that down right where it meets the braid so it all looks connected. And then after that, you just shape it however you like the shape to be and then pin it down in place. And for the final step, like I always do, I'm gonna smooth and shape my edges. So I'm adding a tiny bit more gel right around the perimeter. And then I'm gonna brush that in place with my hair toothbrush and tie it all down with a scarf to set. And here is the finished look. on this one like I swear this one's going to turn out like crap before we don't talk let's look at the back oh you look it can pass damn it I'm just so mad at myself for picking out the wrong color braids and I'm not mad at myself for not blow drying my hair before for this tutorial however I am mad at myself for not picking out a more textured hair I mean, I had the option of picking out a Yaman braid, but because in her tutorial I saw her pick the straight hair, I thought I would have just used the same straight hair, but that wasn't so smart, was it? <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to go check out the Curly Closets video. Um, okay, I'm gonna say <laughs> it's not quite what I that would like what it was meant to be. Like I feel like these bits here 
kind of ended up just puffing up a lot more than they should have um, but the ends for a good amount of them did actually come out really nice so I mean um, <laughs> was this a success? Um, yeah um, and if you're new to my channel and you have not decided from this one video that you would like to subscribe not to worry I'm going to introduce you to the iCards where I will link some more of my videos so you can watch get more familiar with my channel and hopefully after watching the second or even the third video you'd realize that you like something here on this channel so it just makes sense that you subscribe if you're here from the curly closet channel let me know down below in the comment section okay beauties thanks again for watching later I am super excited for this look so I really took a risk with this twist and curl I really hoping it is dried I really hoping this style turns out good all right let's pull out the flexi rush first and then assess the situation And that is it. We now have our comparable Vicks Vaporub for maximum hair growth. So if I'm